So I'm in Chicago today, and it reminds me of, uh, of I grew up here in Elk Grove, right by O'Hare Airport. And when we were kids, our hero in the 70s, in the mid to late 70s, uh, the Chicago Cubs was our team. And uh, people lived in our, my area here. And our hero was Dave King Kong Kingman, the great home run hitter. And he'd either strike out massively or he'd hit the biggest home run, like he'd knock it so far over Wrigley Field that they couldn't find the ball. <laughs> so, so we would race home from junior high <clears throat> to see King Kong because the Cubs were never that great back then. But King Kong, a lot of times, would win the game. He was like 6'6", just big, lanky guy, and he could he had the biggest swing. And he struck out a lot, but he also hit these giant home runs. So anyway, so he was our hero. We talked about Dave Kingman all the time. And so fast forward many years later, I guess maybe, you know, uh, 25, oh, no, probably 30 yeah, probably 30 years later, now that I'm saying it. I'm speaking at a conference, a convention at West Palm Beach. I forget the company. Um, but anyway, I'm speaking at this conference in West Palm Beach. I'm a professional speaker at this point. And I'm backstage, and I'm getting mic'd up and all that. And I'm going on in about an hour, and they're kind of trying to do their thing backstage. If you're a speaker, you know what I'm talking about. It's kind of crazy back there. And, um, and uh, so I'm talking to all the different speakers who are going on. <clears throat> and I'm talking to this, this one guy, and, and he was going on in about 20 minutes. And so we're just shooting the breeze, kind of getting mic'd up and kind of getting our mind together and that kind of thing for the speech as you do. It was a pretty big convention. We had about 5,000 people in the audience. And so it was going to be a good one. And I'm talking to this guy and he says, he says, yeah, you know, I'm living in Nevada and this and that. And he's telling me, I said, so where, where do you come from? He says, yeah, I'm, I'm working mostly in the technology industry now. And so I was telling him a little bit my, about my background. And, um, and I said, oh, nice to meet you. My name's Steve Siebel. He says, oh, nice to meet you. My name is Dave Kingman. And I said, and I looked at him, it's 30 years later, right? But I, and I'd kind of forgotten all about Dave King Kong Kingman, but I looked at him and I thought, he's tall, really tall, like he was like 6'5 six, or 6'6, six, six, it seems anyway. And I looked at him, I said, King Kong? Like with a broken voice. <laughs> and he said, yeah, that's me. And I go, wait a second, you're Dave King Kong Kingman, the great home run hitter for the Chicago Cubs. He goes, oh, well, thanks. Yeah, you know, I played for other teams as well. But yeah, I played for the Chicago Cubs. I go, no way. And all of a sudden, in five minutes, I transferred into a 14-year-old kid, man. I mean, I couldn't believe it. I'm like, oh, and I stood up. And he's about to go on stage. And I stood up and I said, this is like the greatest moment of my life, man. I said, you can't believe it. We used to race home from school to watch you. And we saw you hit home runs that were unbelievable. He goes, yeah, I also struck out a lot. I go, yeah, I get that. But man, you were the greatest home run hitter. You cannot believe the days, the days of joy you gave me and all my friends in Chicago, I said, as little kids, I said, we just loved, we loved watching you because you never knew if you were going to strike out massively, you were going to knock the ball so far out of the park, you know, that they couldn't find it. And he laughed. And so we talked for, I don't know, until he went on stage for about 15 or 20 minutes and he came back after his speech. He was really good. And then I went on and I never saw him again. But it made me think of it being here, speaking in Chicago, and, uh, and because uh, that was such a cool time. And there's really no point to the story outside of just it's so cool when you're a speaker because, and if you're a speaker, you know this, but if you're, if you're looking at getting into speaking or, you know, they say call them wannabe speakers, you know, you want to be a speaker, uh, which is the biggest group of people in the speaking industry, as they call it, are people that are trying to break into the industry, kind of like the, the acting business. And if you go to Los Angeles, there's about 500,000 people at any given time, they say, trying to break into the acting business. There's only a tiny peak group of people in the acting business. Tiny, tiny. But there's half a million every year, they say, try to break in. It's about 50,000 speakers try to break in every year in the speaking business, they say. Uh, and a tiny portion, again, same thing, break into it. But if you're, you know, depending on where you're at, the people you meet, the heroes, and I can tell you stories, you know, and I'm going to do more videos on this because I think it's so much fun to meet these people you would never have met before unless you were a speaker. Just because you're backstage, you're on a stage, you're in front of an audience, you're on Good Morning America, you're on the Today Show, you're on some show, you're, you're at the Oscars, or you're at the Playboy Mansion, or you're, you're at some place where all these famous people, you know, congregate that you see on television and in movies, but you never get to see it if you're a normal person living a normal life. You're never going to see those people, you know, but you get to not only see them, but meet them on equal terms. 
you know, like I've never played baseball, <laughs> except in my backyard and at the park. But, you know, but I'm having a conversation for a half an hour with Dave King Kong Kingman, a guy I used to worship as a kid. I, it's just cool, you know. I'm not saying it has any business value. I'm saying it has life value. It's just cool. I just still can't get over it. After 25 years of being a speaker, the people that you meet. And one of the most fun ones, when I turned into a 14-year-old kid in, in two seconds, was Dave King Kong Kingman, the great home run hitter. It's just so much fun. You know, it's just a, it's a business that... You, if, you, if it's your thing, you love doing it, you have fun doing it, the audience benefits because of your expertise. You benefit financially, you benefit because it's, uh, it's, an, it's an intrinsically, if it's your thing, it's an intrinsically rewarding business beyond anything I've ever seen. Writing is equal to me as, as speaking, but outside of writing books and articles and all kinds of things, speaking is right up there and it's one of the it's it's a world-class skill and that's why you meet world-class people when you're performing this world-class skill because this is where a lot of people go and uh, and it's just so much fun the people you meet along the way just can't beat it